friends, welcome back to the Scott Re project and we're in the stream again after those pesky crayfish. Now I've just lifted one of my pots and it's absolutely rammed of those beautiful American Signal crayfish. So we'll take a little trip downstream and see what we've got. What's not to like? Just seen some underwater footage. Just look at that. Groaning. Absolutely groaning of crayfish. There's a few meals there, I tell you. Right. Let's get these home. Just look at that. And yes, official crayfish trapper. Look at them. So I'm going a little handheld, so excuse the filming. Real good haul. Just going to take the catch off this trap stay we'll have a look in here where's the opening there have a look at that there is an absolute monster in there an absolute monster Look at that. I imagine he'll come up to the top in a minute. I've never seen one so big. There he is. See if I can get him up to hold on to the stick. Just look at the size of that. What a feast we are going to have. So I've caught another monster crayfish. Just have a look at the size of this bad boy. There's my lighter, my Zippo, to give you a rough idea how big he is. I mean, this is crawling around in the stream. His claws, I can pick it up, are absolutely massive. Look at that, hey? Right, time for a feed in to the bucket. There is some absolute buttes in there. Oh, it's prehistoric, baby. It's the stuff of nightmares. Just check out the sounds they make. Some absolute monsters. I've never seen them this big. There's two big boys there. It's just a reason mass of horror at the moment. <laughs> oh man, I so want to put my hand in. They are so aggressive, it's unreal. Just look at that, eh? Now I'm going to show you a quick way, a real quick way, if you've just got a handful of some big ones, a decent size, a great way of getting rid of the p 
poo sack is, can you see there, the fins, you want the middle one, there's five, there, now you want to bend it back, twist one way, twist the other way, and then just gently pull, as you can see, and it comes out in one. Perfect. Obviously, get them in the pot as soon as now. Like I said, it's no good if you've got hundreds of them, but if you've got a good dozen of real big ones, it's a great way to do it. Let me just show you that one more time. So, you'll see there the five fins. It's that middle one, the big one. Bend it back. You'll hear it snap twist left and right he fell off the bench and it comes out in one look at that okay then a large pot of boiling water with a little salt in now just a word about these these are American signal crayfish they are absolutely decimating our white clawed native white clawed crayfish so these are imposters they are wreaking absolute havoc in the waterways they carry the crayfish plague which they're immune to but ours aren't they're eating all the little fish all our crayfish and also undermining the bank so there is only one thing for them but saying that that doesn't mean we don't have to show them respect so a pot of boiling water in lid on and let them come back up to the boil they'll be dead now and simmer for three or four minutes okay then so I've just cooked all these you've got something like that lovely cute little thing isn't it beautiful though you know when they're cooked the colors up to something that big look that's almost a baby lobster but yeah the colors you know, Picasso couldn't do a better job. Just look at it. Absolutely wonderful. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to make a pasta dish with these. So a few of them, I'm just going to take the tails off and obviously get this lovely claw meat out. And then we're going to whip up a nice pasta linguine with a bit of chilli, bit of tomato. It's going to be stunning. But yeah, how wonderful is that? So when your crayfish are this big, you must take the claw meat. So I'm going to take the tail meat as well. Now remember, because these were the bigger ones, I removed that tail fin so it took out the waste pipe, whatever you want to call it, poo pipe. So all I want to do, really, is extract the meat so first of all I'm just going to take all the claws off take the tails out now I know a lot of you guys and girls you all have your own methods especially over the pond my friends in the States this is how the SRP does it so Claws off, all the tails sorted. So I'm just going to take off the tail, pinch that armor plated shell, just like that, and then basically just peel them out. And they should come out in one nice, is the trick, bit, just like that. We've got a lovely size tail. Look at that. It's almost mini lobster-esque. So just go through the others. Snapping the shell. I mean, it really is like a tank. 
gently peeling them. Beautiful, well worth it, you know. If any of you are thinking about doing crayfishing, yes, there's a little bit of work involved, but this is proper free food. It's a wild harvest, it's out there, and it needs to be caught and cooked. You know, like I said, it's an imposter. It causes so much hassle to our waterways over here. Don't get me wrong. I love our American cousins. It's just their crayfish are badass. <laughs> oh dear. So, I'll just rip through these last couple. So this is my favorite bit then, the claws. I mean, basically they're mini lobsters, so we take that one claw off there. Now we just need to lightly smash that shell. I've borrowed this hammer off those pesky Sylvanian families. Just nice and gentle. Now I know you're out there going, why don't you use a knife? Because I don't want to. It's that simple. Look at that. Just breaking it. Peeling it. And it's all about getting that tip of that claw. And we just go through and do the rest. Because Mr. Rabbit and his family want his hammer back for when they take over the world. How good does that look? So, just with these tails then, obviously, like I said, we've got rid of the waste pipe. I'm just gonna take out that funk. And that is all gold. Now obviously don't waste those shells. You can make a crayfish bisque or a fish stock. So basically, apart from these little bits of funk, you can use every part of this crayfish. And that is it completely prepared. Let's have a look at that. Sit for me. Kill him. It's a thing of beauty, man. Okay, so I've took all the tail meat out of these beautiful crays and I could not, not take the beautiful claw meat. Wow, worth the work. But yeah, not bad for a free harvest. Okay then my friends, time to complete the circle. We trapped the crayfish, we prepared the crayfish, cooked them, and now we are gonna prepare the final dish. Now this is a real simple, quick, quick crayfish dish. It is crayfish tails with linguine and chili. So, so simple, so, so quick. So over here, I've got a pot of really salty water on. I'm gonna take a little portion of linguine. Linguine is my favorite. Just get it in there, let it do its thing. So onto here, get that folded in. Just like that. Over here then we got one clove of garlic sliced thinly. We got a little bit of chopped parsley, obviously our chilies, half a glass of white wine, half a tin of chopped tomatoes, a decent chopped tomato, one small onion chopped, obviously those lovely crayfish tails. We took out the shells, bit of rapeseed, bit of balsamic. We will add a bit of salt and pepper. So let's try and get this done in the time it takes to do the pasta. First, we need to get the onions and garlic rocking in a rolling. So let's move this out of the way without dropping any. We'll light the afterburners, beautiful. Get that on and get some oil in the pan. Starting to heat up. So into our warm fat, we put the onions. Just wanna soften these and just add a tiny bit of color. So we'll just keep stirring these. 
that pasta, just turn that up a little bit more. So just keep it moving. So the beauty of this dish then, really, really quick to prepare. And it's always nice to have more crayfish dishes in your culinary armory. So they'll soften, just get the garlic in. Now we don't want to burn this again. We keep that rocking and rolling. Keep it moving around. Now you can use fresh chilies for this, but I'm gonna be using some good chili flakes. Obviously use as much or as little as you want. You can test it as you go along. I'm gonna put that in for now. We can always add, we can't take away. So, that's starting to smell beautiful. So just keeping it moving. I want that garlic to just take on a little roasted colour. Beautiful. Let's get that wine in. Just want to reduce it down a little. Just see how my pasta's getting on. In with the half a tin of chopped tomatoes. get that to know each other. I'm just going to add a little sploosh of tomato puree. It's not a necessity, it just lifts up that tomato. So we want to cook that out. Now the thing is, once the sauce is made, we only want to warm the crayfish through. Obviously we pre-cooked it. We don't want to toughen them up. So once we got this rocking and rolling and how we want it, then we will add the crayfish. Twist some black pepper in. Some salt goes in. Gonna add just a little bit of sugar to bring out the natural sweetness of the tomatoes. We're just letting that thicken for a moment. Now we can just judge the chili hit. Oh, it's so good. How something so basic, wine, tomatoes, onion, and garlic can taste so good. It's just genius. So add a spot of balsamic, 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 now I'm just going to turn that heat down now and let that simmer until our pasta is nearly done. Let's try that. Oh, that's good. So just let that tick over. And if it thickens, that's fine because we can use a bit of the pasta water to take it down. So the pasta is about two minutes away. So we'll get in our crayfish tails. You don't want to crowd the pan with crayfish tails. Always a bit of claw there. So I think that is enough. Just give it a shifty. You know, we want to uh, just warm that through. Pasta is done, so just a couple of ladlefuls of the pasta water, that's law. Right, I'll drain that, and we'll get it in the sauce. So we're just going to work this through our spaghetti, then we're going to add our parsley and then get it in a bowl but that and pretty but it's gorgeous
let's just get that on there a bit of that Finish it with a little bit of lemon juice. Okay, and just because we can, we'll put that little fella on the top. There you have it. My crayfish linguine with chilli. So that is true feel to fork or stream to stomach, whatever you want to call it. And a lot of people out there, you know, they bandy around the term feel to fork. But this is the real deal. You saw it. I'm in the stream. I'm catching them, bringing them back, cooking them and then obviously serving up a wonderful dish like this. So yeah, it's looking pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> Time to get into the bad boy. Okay, let's save that little dude till later. Let's get in here and have some of this. I absolutely love linguine, it's my favorite pasta. What's not to like, man? Let's get a bit of that. Try the sauce and the spaghetti first. Ooh. That is mighty fine, baby. Let's have a bit of crayfish action. Man, that's a mouthful. Want some? Try it. Just a great, great way to cook crayfish. Now, we all love a crayfish boil, but it's on about finding new ways. Obviously you could make a, a creamy sauce would be perfect. Do you think the ratio of pasta to crayfish is a bit off kilter? Ah, who cares? Okay my friends, I need to sit down and eat this properly. I am slowly becoming the king of indigestion. <laughs> Making these videos, do a bit of jiving, take a mouthful, do a bit of jiving, <laughs> oh, oh do a bit of jiving, take another mouthful. <laughs> so yeah, I wanna sit down and enjoy this bad boy. So if you've enjoyed what you've seen here today, please click subscribe when my face comes up down here. Also, you know the drill, on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at the Scott Reed Project. And if you feel like helping the channel along, please do check out my Patreon page. And before I go, one more thing, a lot of you may or may not have bought the book, it's almost sold out, The Merchant of Venison. I will put the link in the description. Grab yourself a copy. What I will say is the first book we, what well, I wrote with someone else ahead of the game, The Catcher in the Re, sold out and you can't get a copy for love and the money. People are messaging me daily, you know, can we get a copy? No, you can't. Now, this is gonna be the same with this book. So if you're into your deer prep, your dear butchery cookery, trust me, it's the book for you. So there's the gratuitous plug. On that note, I'm going to tuck into my spaghetti. And I'll see you next time, my friends. Take care.